Hello YouTube, it's Corvo with another Logic Pro X tutorial on Alchemy and today in this video I'm going to be talking about the arpeggiator overview and the menu commands. So now we're out of the performance section into the arpeggiator, then the effects section will be the last. But I want to keep this video a little bit short, so let's get this other stuff out of the way. If this is the first time you see one of my videos you want to keep on top of new releases i invite you to subscribe to the channel if you like any of the videos there you can like them if you dislike them you can hit the dislike button and you can leave me feedback suggestions comments salutations greetings whatever you want through youtube itself on any of the video comment section or in the other ways that i show in the bottom graphic of the video or it's a social media my web page and all that good stuff so let's jump right into Roger Pro X because that's what we do here and just as a recap already covered the browse simple and then in advanced view covered all of this stuff if this is the first video you're seeing of me I have videos of alchemy in a little bit more detail for all the other stuff that you see before now we're in the arpeggiator section the first thing is that the arpeggiator section it's seen in the advanced and browse views and i did a little bit of discussion of that in the overview video for the whole instrument but let's concentrate on this little thing here and then um the arpeggiator sub page which is what i have selected consists of three main sets of controls so i want to keep it as an overview so let's talk about that first you have your basic arpeggiator controls which is this left section here and they're called basic but it's uh, where you have more options available and that's the very next video after this one uh for next week it's gonna be covering these guys here then you have the arpeggiator sequencer controls which are everything that's tied up here that I, and how the the display itself will change with some of those and some of those controls are also part of the sequencer controls themselves because that's this is the sequencer down here and these controls let you edit one or more arpeggiator sequencers the sequencers are separate from this sequencer that I, we have here, which is in the modulation, which is the main uh, sequencer for alchemy. And we'll see uh, after the basic control tutorial, we're gonna see more in depth uh, those uh, sequencer controls because it, they might be deceiving. As I said, you see a little few things here, but there's a few pop-ups and the things in the display change based on those and there's a few explanations to go through and then there's the arpeggiator menu commands which are all tied to this file button so uh, what I want to do is uh, to close start close to the video just talk about some of the or all the options that we have here in the uh, pop-up menu that's open with the when pressing the file button None of this should surprise you if you have seen other videos that I've made on Alchemy. This is a very common window and pop-up that you have available throughout the whole instrument in different sections. And it's good that it's here too, not only to uh, recap and to remind yourself of what you're dealing with when you're dealing with Alchemy, but also because um, you can... Uh, it's very intuitive, right? You have uh, some of the basic commands that uh, other programs even use, so that that's good. So, going through the list, uh, you have a preset, so you can select from from some presets that, for some reason, I cannot see right now uh, in this list here. But you should be able to see some some presets here. I don't know what. It's probably tied to the preset that I already have here. But anyway, save will let you save the a current pattern, whatever it is that you have here for a pattern. You can save it as a new preset. You can also copy a pattern to the clipboard and then paste it from the clipboard into 
a selected sequencer pattern which um, should appear as a list if you have more than one and it's also tied I don't want to get ahead of myself too much but it's also going to be tied to the different sources of where you have the A, B and C, D buttons here you have all here Let's see something maybe that's why I'm not seeing the presets no it's still the same don't know why that's happening but um, there should be some presets I don't know why that's, that's going on but anyway you can also clear which it will uh, just basically reset that uh, that sequencer uh, pattern. You can also randomize it, which is going to obviously randomize the uh, sequencer. And you can also do an import MIDI. And this is where I do a little bit more talking as opposed to this, which are pretty self-explanatory. The import MIDI, what that's going to do is... Um, let you import node velocity and timing information from a pattern which is going to be in the same format MIDI format as uh, if you will to save it if I do save you're going to see this here it's going to have this ARP well actually when you bring as MIDI it's not going to have that same extension but it's it's the same type of information is what I'm trying to say so then you can uh, set the pitch velocity and swing values here in the display uh, sequencer display itself uh, so uh, that's all there is to it as far as the arpeggiator menu commands is concerned so like i said in the next video i'm going to talk about the basic controls there and i'm going to be talking about the sequencer controls and then we're going to jump into the effects section so with that, I'm going to leave you for now. I will see you in the next video, guys, as usual. Thanks for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many times, thank you. Can't thank you enough for all the support that I've been receiving in the last few months ever since I got my lazy ass of the uh, and organized myself and made sure that I adhere to a schedule that you can expect my videos at a certain time and know exactly what I'm going to be talking about. So, see you in the next one, guys. Peace out, YouTube.